Hey guys, so today I'm showing you how to make beef empanadas. I'm also showing you how to make cheesy beef empanadas. So delicious and it's pretty easy to make them. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so you're going to need about half of an onion diced up, about three cloves minced garlic, and also one scallion sliced. You're going to need one packet of sazan, and then here I have some green seasoning, or you could also use sofrito, okay? So I'm getting my pot, and I'm placing it over medium heat. And once it's nice and hot, I added a little bit of olive oil. So I'm only adding a little bit of olive oil to saute the veggies in because I'm going to add in the ground beef soon. And as you know, ground beef has a lot of fat and oil in it. So I don't want to add too much oil in the pot, okay? So next I added in the onion and garlic. I'm saving the scallion for later on in the video, okay? So only the onion and garlic, and you're gonna saute that and let it soften for mm -hmm. about two minutes or so. Let it slightly caramelize. And next I'm gonna add in the ground beef. So add the ground beef in the pot, and then I'm gonna use my pot spoon to help break up the ground beef as it cooks okay and i'm mixing and i'm mixing it in with the onion and garlic next i'm going to be seasoning the meat a little bit so i'm seasoning it with the green seasoning you can use green seasoning or sofrito either one and then i'm also going to add a little bit of onion powder garlic powder salt and black pepper okay and you want to mix the seasonings in really well into the ground beef okay and then I'm gonna add in some tomato sauce so add in the tomato sauce and I'm gonna also add in a little bit of sugar to cut down on that acidic taste that you get from tomato sauce sometimes okay and it'll make the ground beef taste so much better so just not a lot of sugar just a little bit about a tablespoon or a little less and mix the tomato sauce into the ground beef and you want to keep breaking up the meat as it cooks okay because you don't really want huge chunks in of ground beef you want it to be very like minced and after that you guys i'm gonna let the ground beef cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's fully cooked and nicely browned so halfway through the beef cooking i'm gonna add in one packet of sazan and i'm also gonna add in the scallion okay so when the ground beef have about five minutes left cooking you could add that in mix it in really well and just let the beef finish taking its time and get it nice and tender And once it's fully cooked, you can turn off the stove and set it aside. And we're going to get ready to start filling up our empanadas and then frying them. Alright you guys, so this is the dough I'm using to make the empanadas. Alright, I got it from my local supermarket. You can get it from almost any supermarket. And it's specifically made for empanada so it's empanada doughs okay so just look in like the frozen section of your supermarket where they keep like um the pie crust and all of that stuff okay so yeah so you want to take the dish follow the package directions for thawing out the dough and put your place your dough on your counter surface and lightly roll it out you can lightly roll it out if you'd like it's not really a must okay once you do that, I like to wet the edges of my dough and I'm going to show you here how to make the beef empanadas with and without cheese. Okay, so first I'm showing you without cheese. You just put about a tablespoon or two of the filling in the middle of the pastry and I'm wetting the edges and then I'm just going to fold the dough over in half to make like a half moon shape and that's it you guys so after that press the edges together lightly to seal it properly and then I take a fork 
and just kind of crimp the edges together to make a nice little design and to also help it seal even better okay so once you do that you're gonna set that one aside and finish making the rest of your empanadas so next I'm gonna show you how to make the empanadas with cheese Okay guys, so to make it with cheese, you're basically doing the same thing, the only difference is you're putting cheese down on the dough first and then you're going to put the ground beef filling on top of the cheese and then top it off with some more cheese on top of the meat, okay? And then you fold it in half and seal it properly, be sure to wet the edges of the dough and seal it with your fingers and then use the fork to make the nice design along the edges and to help it seal even better and yeah that's how you make the empanadas it's pretty easy especially when you uh, buy the dough okay so yeah so I'm just gonna finish making the rest of my empanadas filling them up and then we're gonna fry them and also for this recipe I had about one and a half pounds of ground beef and I ended up making quite a few of um, quite a few empanadas and I actually used the whole pack of the empanada dough and I actually needed like a second pack of it so keep that in mind when you're buying the dough you might need two packs of the dough depending on how much you'd like to make Alright guys, so let's get ready to fry them up. So I'm getting my frying pan and I'm placing it over medium heat and I'm adding a good amount of oil in there. Once the oil is nice and hot, you're going to place the beef empanadas into the hot oil and let it fry for about 4 minutes on each side until it's nice and golden brown. You don't want it to burn. The filling is already cooked inside so you're just looking for the dough to cook basically. Okay. So once it gets nice and golden brown, flip it to the other side. Let that side get golden brown as well. And then you can remove it from the oil. Place it on a plate line with paper towel to soak up the extra oil. And then you guys, you're finished making your beef empanada or if you decided to make cheesy beef empanada even better that is it for this recipe you guys so let it cool and then you can serve your empanada such a delicious treat i love empanadas mm. but yeah you guys that's it for this recipe thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope you give the recipe a try if you do let me know in the comments down below how they turned out if you like them and i'll see you guys next time Bye. Okay.